Welcome to another edition of the Turnpike Sports Book Report. I'm Doug Weishaddle here with Dave Weishaddle. We're here to give you a whip around look at some of the latest news coming out of the sports betting industry. This week in our state and national reports, we've got some July numbers to talk about as well as the iGaming report for the month of oh, July okay. in the United States. Deals, we've got a pair of DraftKings deals to talk about. We've got a Minnesota Twins deal to discuss. That one's pretty cool. I yes. like that one. So. As well as a... Uh, a deal involving both uh, horse racing and also uh, the NFL. Oh, okay. Industry updates. We've got licenses, launches, a couple more cease and desist letters out. Okay. And uh, legislative roundup. We'll be talking Missouri, Virginia, and California. All right. We're going to start talking state and national reports right after this. Interest rates and inflation are out of control. Is your credit card debt also out of control? It's time to resolve your debt and take back control for a lot less than what you owe. If you have $10,000 or more in credit card debt, then you need to call us right now. Debt Fix Pros can significantly reduce the amount you owe, and you could be debt-free faster than you think. I knew we had to do something. Our debt was growing. It was getting out of control, and we just didn't know what to do. We saw an ad for Debt Fix Pros. We called and they showed us how fast they could get us out of debt. It really was amazing. And now we're back in control. Call now and we'll show you how easy it is to fix your debt. The call and consultation are free. Call Debt Fix Pros right now at 800-479-3522. That's 800-479-3522. 800-479-3522. Welcome back to the Turnpike Sports Book Report. Doug Weishaddle here with Dave Weishaddle. We're going to start off our state and national reports talking online gaming, online casinos, iGaming for the month of July. We had our U.S. iGaming report released, and the seven states that do offer internet casino gaming have combined for over $600 million in gross revenue for the third time this year. Uh, everyone asked me, what do you think is the next big expansion for the gaming industry? I th it has to be online casinos. Uh, just the the platforms are making way too much money for themselves and the states. So I, I keep looking for more states. I know it's slow coming, but it's uh, I think this is the next big thing. Well, with the cannibalization arguments out there, a lot of people are kind of gun shy about yeah. online casinos well, look, more so than online sports betting more so than online lotteries all look, that here 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 in new jersey you know all our sports books 99.9 .9 percent of our sports books have a i casino tab on yes. it so you know it, it's it's you know it, it's one of those things I, I think i'm seeing more online casino television commercials than i am sports books so yes. uh you know it's it makes a lot of money for everyone so it Keep an eye out for that. I know it's slow uh, expanding, but I think that's the next expansion. Well, New Jersey led the seven states in revenue. Pennsylvania led the seven in handle. Okay. And both Delaware and Rhode Island had set record revenue totals for the month. Okay. Oh, well, actually, total re re record revenues totally, but in the month of July, I should say. Mm hmm uh, going over to our sports betting reports, we've got the state of Nevada reporting in July... Uh, that they have passed the $41.9 billion mark in all-time post-PASPA handle. A lot more if you bring <laughs> yeah. in the pre-PASPA era. I'd love to see the pre-PASPA era for Nevada, but um, you know, I'm sure someone has that. $2.4 in all-time post-PASPA revenue as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the month of July also brought in the lowest non-COVID-impacted monthly handle mm -hmm. in the last five years. Well, we're seeing a lot of that in the, you know, the swoon, the, yes. the summer swoon for a lot of things. It, it, it's a little surprising this summer because there was the Olympics involved. So um, yes. I, I think we'll see some numbers for that pretty soon. So, But, you know, it, it's the time of year. Yes. I think when football starts up, and, well, by the time you're looking at this, football has started up. Yes. And, uh, college football has started up by anyway. 
but you, you'll see those numbers increase. The state of Michigan also reported their July numbers. According to the July report, the state of Michigan has passed $2.8 billion in all-time handle and $250 million in all-time gross gaming revenue in the state. Uh, four Michigan online sports betting sites didn't hit a million dollars in handle this mm-hmm. month. Uh, SI Sportsbook, Four Winds Casino, Fire Keepers, and Bet Parks. Okay. None of them hit the $1 million mark in terms of handle. I'm, I'm a little surprised at SI Sportsbook. I, I, well, they I thought they were down. gone. Well, they <laughs> shut down. That's they why, shut that's down, why so. they have low numbers for handle. So, okay. Yeah. That's, so. Uh, I'm surprised uh, that was even included on the list. But well, we've got uh, going from Michigan. We're going over to Colorado to oh, discuss their okay. July sports betting report. What, was it a good month for table tennis? You will see. Okay. All right. Uh, teasing a little. With okay. the July report, All Colorado right. became the sixth state to pass $19 billion in total handle the post pass by wow. era. Okay. Uh, parlays accounted for 20% of the total handle, and it was the first time the parlay revenue hit eight figures in the month of July only, wow. in July okay. history, I should say. Mm-hmm. And... Going to your point, we do talk table tennis every time we bring up the monthly okay. reports for Colorado. This time, uh, no record set by table tennis, but we have table tennis being the fifth most bet on sport in July. It's incredible. Fourteen million in handle. So it's Colorado and Oregon. They're the two states that are really. Big Oregon in doesn't release those numbers. Well, they've they've changed once. DraftKings came into mm-hmm. the picture. They changed how they report. Well, it used to be very conspicuously. Colorado yes. and Oregon. So now yes. it's only Colorado that's really out there in front with right. table tennis. And of that 14 million bet in July for table tennis, only about $2,000 of it was bet uh, retail. <laughs> so uh, that seems really it, like an online betting it sport. Is. <laughs> I have to admit, so. though, there were a couple months when you talk table tennis and it's all online. Mm-hmm. And with almost two thousand dollars retail for table tennis is pretty good. I kind of find some resources that talk about table tennis because obviously people are betting on it. So obviously people, I, and I'd like to think they're making educated decisions on it. So yes. they must have a resource they go to to look up the table tennis stats and hear about what's going on in the world of table tennis in order to make a you know intelligent bet on yes. it. So I, I have to. I need a good table tennis resource. Well, maybe a good podcast, I guess. I don't table know. tennis also had third consecutive month that it's reached a million dollars in revenue. See, look at that. Yeah, how good is that? Uh, going over to our last entry for the week, which is always the state of New York, we have the week ending August twenty fifth, uh, the fourteenth straight week of under four hundred million dollar weekly handle, thirteenth straight week of under forty million dollar in weekly revenue. That's GGR, not AGR. Mm-hmm. And this actually was kind of interesting. It was the first under three hundred million dollar handle in quite a while. Here. Wow! Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but what, uh, what week is this? This is week ending August twenty fifth. Okay. All right. So it was a big vacation week or something. I, guess, I, don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> it was low low handle. What's going on? Everyone's um, at the Jersey Shore or something like that. Or but, what's going on? But fiscal year to date handle did pass eight billion. Mm-hmm. So uh, and also year to if fiscal year to date gross gaming revenue passed eight hundred million. Okay. Uh, Fandle kind of interesting this week. Oh, it's always Fandle leading in revenue. Yeah, oh. the last year or so, the uh, it used to be all Fandle. Now it's Fandle DraftKings right. jockeying for position. This there. was very close. This week, Fandle beat out DraftKings for handle in terms of the lead for New York, mm-hmm. only by about $760,000. That's kind of close. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it for uh, this week's state and national reports. We're going to start talking deals right now. Starting off our deal segment, we've got a pair of deals involving DraftKings. The big one was DraftKings acquiring the micro market betting uh, operator SimpleBet. Yep. Uh, DraftKings already possessed a 15% stake in SimpleBet and was actually their best customer, I believe. 60% of the turnover that SimpleBet realized came from DraftKings sure, betting. Sure, sure. Uh, they've acquired the company. They're going to integrate it into their platform to increase the accuracy, the speed, uh, for their in-game betting. 
Yeah, no, that that's incredible. That is such a big market for betting, and it, it's great to see DraftKings and Simple Bet, you know, really kind of get together on this. So it's 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 going to be interesting to see. Well, they were already fifteen percent. Yeah, they were they so. were together, but now it's really everyone's all in on everything. So yes. that's great. So. Uh, financial terms were not disclosed, but there are reports out there, especially one from JMP Securities, that said the deal was worth about one hundred ninety-five million dollars, with seventy million paid up front. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of interesting to see what happens down the road here because several sports books are customers of Simple Bet, and now that DraftKings owns Simple Bet, what happens to those deals? Do they continue? Yeah, and ultimately, if they do continue, it all goes back down to to DraftKings. So, yeah, yeah kind of interesting to watch. I think what it's a good move there. for DraftKings yes. because that, like, the micro markets are such an important mar- market. Like I said, and it's so especially with football and yes. baseball and it, it's just a great and, and that's you know you want fan engagement guess what that's that's micro markets well speaking to me of, anyway speaking of fan engagement DraftKings has mentioned they are developing a watch and bet system for yep. NFL okay. games so this go. comes in very handy for absolutely that. the other deal DraftKings announced that it has come to terms on a market access agreement with the Lock du Flambeau Band of Lake Superior Chippewa Indians. Okay. I actually had to look up how to pronounce that. Lac du, Lac du, du Flambeau. Flambeau. Yes. Okay. Uh, they're going to be able to do re- a retail sports book at the uh, the tor- the Lake of the Torches Resort Casino. What a great name. Yes. I love that name. Well, I, it's kind of interesting. You know what? That that makes me want to Google them and uh, look at pictures because uh, I, I, I have imagery in my head about this, so I want to look at it now. Well, according to uh, the history of the tribe, when they were discovered by French traders, mm-hmm. They noticed that they used torches to hunt walleye at night in the lake. Oh, okay. Which is where Lake of the Torches comes from. Oh, uh, so Lac du Flambeau means Lake of. I, I just looked at it. Yeah, yes, okay. Lake of the Torches. It, it, just, it just clicked. Yes. All right, okay. All right. Yes. And uh, so they're going to be doing a retail sports book at the Lake of the Torches Resort Casino. Okay. Uh, you're looking at, let me get this right here. We've got six kiosks, mm-hmm. one over the counter window. And uh, they're also going to be doing mobile operations as well. Okay. So congratulations to the two deals. Great deal with Simple Bet, by the way. Absolutely. Uh, Staying in the Native American vein, we have a deal between the Minnesota Twins, Treasure Island Resort and Casino, and the Prairie Island Indian Community. I love this deal. I I, I love this picture. Hopefully you'll have a picture up. Well, I I have, if you're watching on TV, up in the uh, side where I have all the information about what we're talking about, I have the logo that's going to be used on what we're going to be talking about Mm -hmm. here. It is now a partnership between all three of those parties to create a -a first-of-a-kind Franklin baseball glove celebrating the Native American heritage in the state of Minnesota. Uh, all different kind of combinations that went into this. The gloves were designed by the Treasure Island Creative Team in conjunction with the Prairie Island Indian Community. Design details are inspired from the Native American heritage celebration uh, aspects of the of the uh, tribe. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got the outside of the gloves features Minnesota, spelled in the old Indian fashion, um, with uh, lettering uh, that adorns the front of the twins' road gray uh, uniforms. Mm-hmm. Um, the Eagle is on there. It's a sacred symbol for the native Americans. You've got the star quilt, which is a sign of respect and honor in native American tradition. The colors are designed to represent the, uh, points on the compass. Okay. You've All got right. black for West, red for North, uh, yellow for East and white for South. Yeah, and it's beautiful. Yes. The, the, the whole glove is just beautiful, yes. and, it, and it was a giveaway too. Uh, the first set were they're <laughs> yeah. still they're going to be the, they're, they're available. Oh, okay, yeah, they're good. Available. I know the first yes. like five thousand or yes. a couple thousand got them for. Uh, it, 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 I think they had a big uh, big event at Target Field or something. Yes, like the, that. on uh, Native American Heritage. Stuff. Yeah, no, it's great. Uh, they gave away a thousand of them. Oh, so, a thousand. Okay, yes. wow. All right. Uh, Moving on to another deal, we have the National Thoroughbred League, which is team horse racing okay, for sports betting purposes. That right. was the overall goal of the league. They announced a deal with the Baltimore Ravens quarterback, Lamar Jackson, oh, okay. to Great. become one of the new owners of the expansion Maryland team. All right. So it kind of be kind of interesting. I want to, to see, see this. That. I want to see how this works. I, you know, I, I you know, I'm, I'm very curious about it. I've heard a lot about it. Well, the I, Philadelphia I team is okay. owned by Julius Irving. Okay. So, uh, all right. 
a lot of different owners involved. Tanya Tucker's an owner for the Nashville team. Okay. Uh, they've got about about six, seven teams that are in existence right now. They're having their season starting up pretty soon. So mm-hmm. going to be interesting to see how the uh, league goes because you have to draft your roster of horses. Mm-hmm. And then you put your team out on the track in your race. Okay. Yep. Uh, last deal for the week, we have the NFL announcing an extension of, or it's a renewal of its partnership with the National Council on Problem Gambling. Good. Good. Uh, three-year, six, uh, three-year, $8.4 million grant. Great. Great. That's it for the deals. We're going to start talking industry updates right after this. Imagine if you lost 20, 30, 40, or even 50 pounds or more right away. Would you be more attractive to the opposite sex? Feel better? Sleep better? If you've tried to lose weight in the past and repeatedly failed, then you need to know about a true game changer medication. Semaglutide is FDA approved. It can produce quick and easy results. Call the number on your screen now for free info. This is the last diet you'll ever go on. Finally lose the weight and keep it off. There's no pain, no surgery, no exercise plan, no starvation, no fasting no silly meal prep in fact you can continue to eat the foods you love pause this screen and take down this number or store it in your cell phone but call today for free information the advanced medical weight loss program is physician based and works with your body naturally to create the feeling of being full this is not just about losing weight this is about what your life can become as a thinner you call the number on your screen now for free info finally lose the weight and keep it off look great this summer but hurry there's a huge demand for this product and shortages may occur at any time call the number on your screen now for free information. Welcome back to the Turnpike Sports Book Report. Doug Weishaddle with Dave Weishaddle here. I'm going to start off our industry updates talking about BetMGM's new features for the start of the football season since we already are in the football yeah, season. Yeah. A lot of players have already noticed these features that have been introduced. And actually, this does kind of uh, help BetMGM in terms of in-play betting as well as futures because what they have done is one of the uh, features, new features for the NFL season is the setting up of exclusive betting markets by Angstrom, which will bring in almost a thousand new futures markets, including awards, players, and team props to the betting platform. Another, another feature kind of interesting. I have to see this is the brand new smart stats. Okay. Uh, players, customers, I should say not players, but <laughs> customers will be given full access to a range of different insights as they place their bets data displayed right next to the betting markets mm-hmm. for them. Also, they're going to be uh, offered easier to build same-game parlay, same-game parlay plus, which is basically mixing same-game parlays with same-game parlays. You make a parlay out of a parlay. Oh, okay. So kind of interesting Ooh, to see what's going there. I like There's that. Yeah, like going to be an idea. increased selection of prepackaged parlays. And also, I didn't know this, but this is the first season for NFL – Parlays can now be built anywhere in the app for the first time. You, you're not restricted to one thing only. Oh, okay. So Good. kind of interesting to see those developments. Nice. All right. Uh, we got a couple stories coming out of Illinois right now. We've got Hard Rock Digital and Hard Rock Casino Rockford announcing the launch of Hard Rock Bet in Illinois. Great. Both mobile and land-based. Uh, the Hard Rock Casino Rockford Sportsbook will feature five betting kiosks, three betting windows, multiple televisions, food and drink options. Uh, the online sportsbook app is now live for both throughout the state and also in person at mm-hmm. the casino as well. You can use the app. I bet at Hard Rock in Atlantic City. I actually like that retail sportsbook. It's, you know, you look down the hall, it's deceiving. You think it's pretty small. You get yes. there, it's it's, it's good size sportsbook. So, yeah, it's fun. Staying in Illinois, we have Bally's having a ribbon cutting. 
Bally's is great for their ribbon cuttings. They love their ribbon cuttings. They had a ceremony of ribbon cutting for its VIP lounge at the temporary downtown Chicago casino at Medina Temple. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lounge is located on the third floor near the table games area adjacent to the Baccarat and Blackjack tables, a few steps away from the VIP services uh, area. Mm -hmm. The lounge actually features... uh, uh, feature seating up to 30 people, tables that can seat from two to six people, four TVs situated throughout the room offering sports and entertainment programming. I'm basically reading the press release. Yeah, well, well let me tell you something. Bally's, I, I like Bally's lounges and food offering, especially yes. here in Atlantic City. So, you know, it's a great company. So I'm, I'm sure the one in Chicago has some great food yes. there too. So. Well, that's in the temporary one. The, yeah. the permanent one has yet to be... Uh, Built, basically. Yeah. Uh, going over to the state of Michigan, we've got Penn Entertainment and Light and Wonder launching exclusive Hollywood Casino at Greektown branded live dealer table games. Oh, nice. Okay. First time Penn Entertainment is doing local property branded live table dealer games. Nice. Also, the first time Light and Wonder is offering live dealer table games in Michigan. Great. Great. Uh, we've also got Michigan Gaming Control Board issuing another cease and desist letter. Usually we're talking Who's Bovada. this one to? Like, I, yeah, Usually I it's Bovada. Bovada. Yeah, but. Uh, this, is, this one was sent to, and let me get the name right, One Country out of Fayetteville, Arkansas. One Country Give, I think is the actual okay. title of it. All right. It's a sweepstakes company. Okay. Sweepstakes okay. Are, that's are illegal. A, in the, yeah, that, you know. that's a big issue right now, yes. the sweepstakes games. Yes. You know, the... You know, some companies offer sweepstake games with, yes. they just feel like gambling yeah. entities. Yeah. But, uh, you know, they, they find these loopholes in these sweepstakes laws and they exploit them. So I know the AGA has asked regulators across the country to look into it. So yes. we'll, we'll see what happens with that. We're going to see more of these, I think, these oh, more think cease so. and desist letters. According to the Gaming Control Board of Michigan, one country has been selling monthly memberships that offer entry into various sweepstakes games that basically are unlicensed in the state, they'd like them to stop. Well, like I said, they fall within this weird loophole. Yeah. You know, sweepstakes technically aren't considered gambling, so they can do certain things. But, you know, if they do certain things, then they drift into gambling. So you have to watch these sweepstakes, uh, you know, entities. And speaking of Bovada, we have Ohio. Oh, Bovada. More Bovada, huh? Ohio sent them a cease and desist. The Ohio Casino Control Commission sent them a cease and desist letter. And Bovada has recently added Ohio to the restricted U.S. states list that they have on their website. Okay. Waiting to see what happens with Louisiana. Louisiana also confirmed they sent a cease and desist letter. Oh, so they they, they confirmed that, huh? Yes. Louisiana? All right. Okay. Uh, Last two stories for uh, industry updates. We've got Prize Picks announcing a new free-to-play contest called Streak. Basically, it's a (laughs) swipe game where you actually... Uh, do one player projection per day, and if you put together a streak of at least thirty-two weeks straight, or thirty-two day, thirty-two wins straight. Okay, right? it's it's a daily game, so thirty-two days straight. Okay, you get a chance at a million dollars. Oh, all yes. right, I like that. It's a sw- It's almost like Tinder or whatever the other dating. So app it's is. based on player performance. Yeah. Okay. And, but all you right. you choose by swiping through different player okay. projections. All right. Okay. And uh, better. Uh, not the Australian one, the this, U.S. This better. one's B E T R. They're both B E T R. Oh, they both. Oh, my. yeah. One is Australia. This is. I the can't United believe States they're ones. not uh, battling this out in court than over the name. Well, better in the United States has yeah. launched a new peer-to-peer product called Group Mode, which is basically uh, cooperative uh, fantasy sports. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just interviewed. Yes, it's something called Better Together. Yes, it's a cooperative be- um, fantasy sports. Yes, Every, it's it's starting to be the. Peer to peer is very very interesting. That I think you're going to see more and more of that. I think you're going to see peer to peer sports betting sites. I think you're going to see peer to peer the kind of theory of peer to peer in uh, fantasy sports, and so I, I that whole kind of concept with more interactions between the players and things like that. I, I think you're going to see more of that. Uh, that's it for industry updates. We're going to finish up with our legislative roundup.
Starting off our legislative roundup, we're going out to the state of Missouri where we had good news last week, bad news this week. Uh Uh-oh. The uh, approved ballot initiative that was basically approved by every aspect of the state of Missouri has now come under fire with a lawsuit. Okay. Uh, The lawsuit against the ballot initiative was just filed. They're going to be having a hearing uh, relatively quick. You knew that was going to happen. That's like Um, par for the course for these things. Uh, just to summarize very quickly, mm-hmm. um, the uh, suit claims that Missouri Secretary of State John Ashcroft improperly certified the ballot initiative in about four different ways. Okay. Um, you know, it used uh, pre-2020 districting uh, measures to actually uh, uh, total up the votes and everything. A mm-hmm. uh, whole bunch of different ways they looked at it. And... Uh, you know, we'll see where it goes. That's where they're claiming. But, yeah. you know, look, I, whoever, you knew this was going to happen. Yeah. And, you, and you almost can predict the what they were going to base it on. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's going to be battled out. And we'll, we'll see what happens. But I, I think it'll be on the, the, oh, yeah. the ballot. I think so. so. Uh, over in Virginia, we have the joint subcommittee studying, a, a joint subcommittee is studying the feasibility of establishing the Virginia Gaming Commission. Oh, okay. Did not know they didn't have one. <laughs> I just to be assume, honest with I you, I just assumed they had one. Yes, okay, uh, but it would it would uh, control all Virginia gambling except the lottery. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, they recently had a consultant come in and said maintaining the Virginia lottery as a separate agency while creating the Virginia Gaming Commission to regulate the other forms of gambling in the state is the way to go. Sure. I, I, I so mean, they're studying it. Well, I I I think this is a good idea, yeah. and, and it. Look, there, there's so much work that these gambling commissions do. I think it's great that Virginia is going to have something like that, and you know, so I, I I think it just makes the industry work more efficiently and effectively if you have commission just dealing with a particular thing in yes. the government, especially when it comes to investigation and sure, enforcement. Sure, absolutely, so. absolutely. Uh, last story comes out of California, real quickly here. California Assembly has voted unanimously to approve SB 549, which is the Tribal Nations Access to Justice Act, which allows the uh, Native American tribes in California to seek a declaratory judgment on whether card games offered at several card rooms around the state and banked by third-party proposition uh, player service providers violate the California Constitution. So they can actually, if this gets approved by the Senate, they will be able to file suit against all the card rooms in the state. Okay. That's it for this week's Turnpike Sports Book Report. As always, there's been a ticker flying by below us with some additional news stories in the uh, casino and also the entertainment industry um, that we didn't have a chance to talk about in this half hour. And as always, when this is released Monday morning, the show Turnpike Sports Book Report is released Monday mornings. There will be a full print version of the book report on our blog, turnpikesports.us. Click on the blog button. The print version can contain stories we talked about, stories in the ticker, and also stories we didn't have a chance to talk about this half hour. Please visit that at your convenience. And as always, info at turnpikesportsradio.com is the email address to send in those press releases. And that'll do for us this week. We'll see you next time on the Turnpike.